Welcome to a trifold waterfall folio decoration tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters, and I'm excited to teach you how to take this and turn it into this. Check out this Make a Splash album we're creating with our Volume 6 album kit this month. So we're taking a pre-made folio album and we're decorating it up with our gorgeous Make a Splash paper. These papers were such a hit that they sold out almost immediately once we put them up on our website. So they're not completely available. The kits are, but the papers won't be available until uh, mid-June. So you can just see why these sold out so quickly. And there's a lot of fun to be had in this folio. So we've got some little flaps and a large pocket here. We've got a, another little secret photo mat hiding here another full page pocket with so many great spaces for those large photos i kind of love how these are going to be perfect for all your summer vacation beach photos they'd also be great for a little mermaid party we love to hear what you're going to use your albums for. So let us know in those comments below. And then just check out how much fun these interactive elements are. So Maria's added some fun little pockets here on these full size pages and then cut these apart, making them a little more interesting and fun to go through. And then we've got our nice vertical pages here, more pockets, great spaces for photos, and just so stinking cute. For us by Maria Cole. If you know her work, you know it's always uh, classy, elegant, but easy to complete, so you end up with a gorgeous album every time. This kit includes our pre-made trifold waterfall folio album. You can see when you open up this cutie, there's already some pockets created for you and the waterfall elements are already done. So we took all that hard work and did it for you. So now all you have to do is have fun decorating. You're also gonna get this project sheet with step-by-step -step directions subscribers and for a limited time uh, when you buy this kit you're going to get these make a splash collectible buttons these gorgeous purple paper roses the graphic 45 ziploc bag to store all your goodies in and of course the make a splash 12 by 12 collection pack we are so thrilled that we finally have the sticker sheet back. So this one is a 12 by 12 and you're only gonna be able to get it in this 12 by 12 collection pack. And then you're gonna get two of each of these eight different papers. They're double-sided, lots of fun, gorgeous imagery and cut aparts to work with. And you can pick up those kits on our website at g45papers.com or down at your local G45 retailer. Of course, you can always become a subscriber as well, where you get the kids sent directly to you in the mail. You do that on our website. Also, easy peasy to sign up and you can cancel any time. So we encourage you to grab your supplies and then join us for these fabulous new paper crafting techniques and tutorial. First things first. And this tutorial, of course, I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step directions on how to create this. But if you want some uh, printed instructions or just to follow along on your computer, you can do that by going over to our website, g45papers.com, up to the uh, Inspiration tab, down to Project Sheets, and that's where you'll find all of these great step-by-step -step project sheets. Step one, we're going to take the Seize the Day paper and cut it to be 5 inches by 7 inches. With a ruler and a pencil, we're going to mark at 1 and a quarter from the top left, and again one and a quarter from the bottom right and now we're just going to trim these off at those two marks so you can do that like i'm doing with your paper trimmer or you can do that um, by drawing a line with your ruler and cutting with your scissors this is going to go on our diagonal pocket and then we'll save this for later 
from this Shellabrite paper. We are going to cut it down to be six and a half by seven inches. And then we're going to fussy cut out from the leftovers these two shells. From our second sheet of Seize the Day, we're gonna cut out this small mermaid image and then this border piece that's going to be seven and a quarter. And then from our sticker sheet, we're gonna take this purple tag. We're gonna open up this trifold waterfall folio and we are going to work on this section. So we added our adhesive to the back of our large shellabrite paper. And then before we adhered it down in there, I just took my bone folder, making sure everything was going to slide right in. And then adhere this baby down. So add your adhesive to the back of your diagonal page and then adhere that onto your pocket. I did trim about a 16th of an inch off of the uh, left and bottom just so it fit a little bit better onto my pocket. So if you like yours like that, go ahead and make those adjustments. I'm using art glitter glue to adhere all of this stuff down, but of course you can use your adhesive, adhesive of choice. And then I just adhered these three elements down here. I really love how this lines up, making it look kind of like it has a scalloped edge on this one side. And then adhere that border on your spine. Before we get too far along, if you're also a Card Club subscriber, this month you're gonna get this lovely lilac ink, which would go pre perfect for distressing these papers along the way. Step five, we're gonna take our border from Seize the Day and cut this to be seven and a half inches. We've got these stickers here, and then this is a cut apart from the, wor the World is Your Oyster. And this cut apart says, I was born to be a mermaid. Then cut this piece of Shellabrite to be five and a half by seven and three eighths. The directions say seven and a half, but we found that to be just a little bit too long. And then you're gonna take your one inch circle punch or something similar and go ahead and punch out a half circle in the center on the left hand side. Add adhesive on the top, bottom, and right hand side to create a fun little pocket on the left. Next, we're going to adhere this on. I'm just gonna put adhesive on the top and bottom, creating a nice little belly band slide area. Add your stickers and your sticker tag here. You could write a little sentiment here, but we do like to leave this space um, as naked as possible. That way we get a really nice magnetic uh, snap to our album. For step seven, we're going to decorate our big pocket. And so we've got our Wish Upon a Starfish and our Make a Splash signature page. We're gonna use the B side of our Make a Splash. And we've cut both of these to be seven and one eighth by seven and a quarter. And then I've taken a one and a half inch circle punch and then a half punched out these circles where these go. Of course, if you don't have that, you can always paper clip your paper onto your page, flip that over and trace out your little notched area, and then just trim it out with scissors. Adhere the blue on the front and the purple on the back, making sure to get a good burnish. Since these are pre-made albums, it's a little chunky on this side, so I like to just flip it over once I've got them done and get out all those air pockets. Step eight, we're gonna take Born to be a Mermaid and we've cut this to be five and a quarter by three and a half. And then this piece is from Make a Splash and it's five and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I've got these four stamps and I'm just gonna create some fun little pole tabs with these. So on my mermaid scale paper here, I'm gonna put this on my left hand side. Flip this over, add my other sticker to the back. Beautiful. And then we will do the same with our Make a Splash. So these are gonna be great little photo mats. Add this to the right hand side, flip that over and do the same. For step nine, we've fussy cut out this 
large make a splash mermaid rectangle and then added another one of those little half one inch half circles so it'll indicate that there's a pocket there and then with seize the day we've done that with this i love you more than all the fish in the sea and then added our little notch on the left hand side here we've adhered this on in a pocket so we've got our opening here on the right and then from our sticker sheet i've taken this born to be a mermaid tab and i'm just going to put that right on top here and this is just gonna slide in our pocket. Adhere this in a U shape, and then our tab for this cutie is gonna go up here, and our mermaid scales are gonna slide right into our pocket here. Next, we're gonna work on our horizontal waterfall. So I've got my ocean dance paper here that we've cut into three pieces that are six inches by four inches. To add a little extra spice to one of those, I am just going to put in my scoreboard and score on the six inch side at a half of an inch. I added adhesive on that half inch score line on this one piece, and this is just gonna go on the very bottom here. Just acting as a fun little flap, giving us even more opportunities for photos. And then on the fourth waterfall page, I've adhered this beautiful paper down flat and the same on our first waterfall page. Now I'm going to do a simple decoration, just taking our large Born to be a Mermaid sticker. And this is just going to adhere. I'm just going to do it slightly top heavy in the center like so. From the leftovers of Ocean Dance, we've cut out two pieces that are going to be two inches by four inches. And then from the world is your oyster paper. We're going to cut out these two uh, four by six cut aparts like so. So cut out those four by sixes and then you will trim off those two four by sixes into four by fours. So you have the bottom portions of those. So then we're going to take our ruler and we are going to mark at four and a quarter from the left hand side on our second waterfall page at both the top and the bottom. Then go ahead and draw a line to connect those two. And then take your scissors and we're just going to cut right on that line. And I'm actually going to cut about just on the side of the line. And I'm gonna cut on both sides. So I am gonna end up cutting out just the tiniest little sliver. And then I'll just take this little extra and snip it off. So now I have my two separate pieces. Then go ahead and adhere these down. I like to adhere them down with equal space on the left, bottom, and right. So there is more space at the top, but this is how I think it looks best. Now we're going to just doll that up with some stickers, and these are going to act as our little pull tabs. So I've got a sticker matching on each side since it does hang off, and then this one just up here. So we've moved on to our fifth waterfall page, and we're doing the same steps that we just did up there but we're doing it at two and a quarter on this page so i've made my marks i've drawn my line and now i'm just going to cut out on either side and cut on both sides now just take the scissors and snip snippity snip looks like i just need to do a little bit of clean up here now we're just going to decorate just like we did before, adding this Born to be a Mermaid sticker, these two button stickers, and then this great space for journaling. Step 16, we've got two pieces of Fantasy Cove that it cut, that's been cut to six inches by four inches, and then we half circle punch off the right hand side in the center with our one inch punch. And then adhere those in a U shape on the third and sixth papers. 
the third and sixth waterfall pages. We've got these great pockets here. We've got these fun dimensional flips and some um, other great large real estate for your larger photos. Step 17, we've got a wish upon a starfish blue fish border that's seven and a quarter. This sees the day blue shell border that's seven and a quarter. And then from Make a Splash, we have two pieces, one that's one by three and three quarters and one that's three and three quarters by one inch. And then I've got these little purple square stickers. Adhere those borders to your spines, making sure everything is going to open and close beautifully. Adhere the vertical B side here, and then we're going to add our square sticker right over the top so it gives us that nice finished look. And then do the same over here. Step 18 from The World is Your Oyster. We're going to cut out these two pieces that are four by six inches. And then these ones, if you look on the side, it's actually a two piece, but we're going to cut it out as one as a four by six and then notch out the center of the left. Adhere those down in a U shape to the first and fourth waterfall vertical page. And again, I've got equal distance on my top left and bottom. So there's more on the right hand side. Step 19, we have Born to be a Mermaid that's been cut to be four inches by six inches. And then I'm gonna take one of those three and making sure my mermaids are right side up. So I want the bottom of my paper to be at zero, the top to be at six, and I'm going to score this at five and a half inches. On the bottom, we are going to add these stickers in the center. So we've got make a splash on these two, and then on our one that's scored, we've got make a wish on a starfish. Behind the last waterfall page, we're adding adhesive to that half inch flap. And then this will just fold up like so, adding some fun interactive details. We're gonna add the other ones on our fifth and our second waterfall pages. Step 20 from The World Is Your Oyster. We've cut out these two four by three pieces, the sea is your day and the sea is calling. And then from Born to be a Mermaid, we have these that are also four inches by three inches. We're gonna make some little notch stickers or with these stickers, we're gonna make some little notch poles and we're using these cute little mermaid uh, rectangles and these seize the day uh, decorative squares and this little scalloped border. On your two blank water fall pages that you've got left, we're gonna mark these at three and a quarter from the top on both edges and then draw a line connecting those uh, dots. So we've got it on our page six and our page three. And then take those scissors and do the same that we did before cutting these apart, uh, leaving a little bit of a space between the two. So we've added our mermaid scales and our seize the day cut apart here and then our little stickers on both sides. Now we've gone down to our sixth page and we have added those papers. So now we're gonna do our last three stickers. So this one's gonna go just right underneath here. We're just gonna kinda leave it there for placement while I'm adding this seize the day. So I wanna make sure that this uh, doesn't go outside of our folio, of course. It also doesn't overlap here, but comes close enough to it. So I've added my sticker on that side. And now we're gonna take this little cutie here. I mean, we just love stickers because they make decorating so easy and it really packs a punch. So, so glad that they're back in our 12 by 12 collector's packs. Now we're gonna make some little inserts for our pockets. So we are going to cut Born to be a Mermaid to be five and a half by six and three quarters. And then from the world is your oyster, we've cut out this piece to be a four by six inches. 
And from Seize the Day, we have this little striped number that's four by six as well. And we're gonna decorate with two little purple corners. Score both of these at a half of an inch from the top. So on the six inch side, I'm scoring at five and a half inches with my bottom at zero. And I will do the same here. Add your adhesive to that half inch score line and adhere in the center. And with this one, we've added our corners in the top right and bottom left. And then well, after you add your corners, just go ahead and make sure you're getting a nice good uh, fold and crease where that sticker is and uh, burnish down again after you're done folding and that should work beautifully. Now we can stuff these in our pockets. So let's make a splash one's gonna go right here. And this striped beauty is just gonna go right in our large pocket. Step 24, we are gonna start decorating our cover. So we have taken our leftover sheets of Ocean Dance and we are cutting uh, two pieces out to be seven and one eighth by seven and one quarter. And then I'm going to cut out two more pieces that are going to be three and seven eighths by seven and a quarter. And two pieces that are going to be one inch by seven and a quarter. So now we're going to adhere our two largest pieces down on our cover and our two largest sections. So I have added some uh, dry adhesive, some nice score tape, but I'm also going to go in there and do a little bit of liquid as well. That way, if I need to move anything around, I have a little bit of wiggle room. And then these just go right in the center of those large panels. Add your adhesive to your one inch strips, and these are going to go on your spines right in the center. Hold up, do not adhere these yet. Step 25, we're gonna cut out Fantasy Cove, and these are six and five eighths by six and three quarters. You're gonna have two of those. So now these should not be here yet, and we'll adhere these purple beauties onto the center of our large panels. So since I already adhered those down, I'm just gonna cut strips and adhere them on either side so it'll look the same. You can do this as well if you wanna save some paper also. So I've cut my Fantasy Cove papers into four strips that are one and an eighth by six and three quarters. And now I will just adhere these on in the center on either side on both of these. So what do you think? Is that a better way to do it or do you like the full sheets? look instead. Step 28, we're going to be decorating that cover, so making sure everything's right side up. We have taken our Make a Splash image from Seize the Day, and I've added some foam adhesive to this. Of course, you can leave yours flat, but I want to try it out with a little more dimension. And I'm going to adhere this in the center about uh, an inch and a half from the top. And we're gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. We fussy cut out these two shells from Shellabrate, this purple starfish from uh, Make a Splash, as well as the seahorse. And then we're gonna take this large round mermaid sticker as well. So I'm gonna use this sticker next, and it's gonna go in my bottom right here. So I wanna add some more foam adhesive to the back, so it's gonna be upright. So I've added that foam adhesive down and now I can put this in my bottom right hand corner. Then I've added some foam adhesive to the back of my seahorse and adhered it onto the right hand side. Locate this mermaid sticker and she's going to go in the back center, adding a nice bit of decoration. And now we can add our purple roses. So you can use as many paper roses as you want to decorate this or as few, it is up to you. I'm just gonna kind of shape it to how I want it to go. 
and then I'll use my second one. This one I've just trimmed out a little bit, so I'm not using the whole thing. And add my adhesive how I want this, and then go ahead and adhere this down. So we've got the base, and now I'm gonna start out with my two largest uh, purple royalty roses. These paper roses I love to work with. They're instantly beautiful, but you can always add some, uh, you could go in with some glitter stickles, some paint, um, whatever you'd like to just kind of jazz those up even a little bit with some little splatters or putting some glitter on those ends, or just leave it as is like we're going to here, and you will still have a gorgeous uh, end product. So now that I've got my main flowers in there, now I'm just gonna kind of work in some of these smaller rose buds. So there you have it, a beautiful rose bouquet on the front of our Make a Splash album. I'm gonna let that dry. And once that dries, you should have a stunning album like this one here. We hope you enjoyed creating this waterfall trifold folio with us. Uh, let us know uh, what your favorite technique was, and then we'd love to see your projects on Instagram. Use that uh, graphic 45 hashtag. And if you're looking for more fun and fabulous tutorials like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you know every time we upload a new fun project. We thank you for joining us, and as always, happy paper crafting.